everyone, how you doing tonight? I'm Julie and welcome back. Um, welcome to my Saturday Smileys. i am got quite a few things here to show you today, but a lot of them that you've, well, a few of them you've already seen, but I have been loving them so much that I just have to include them. In All right, Saturday I'm going to start out with snacks because I found two since I did a last Saturday Smiley that I'm loving both of them. One of them I'm not having too much of, but my husband loves them. But you guys got to know about it. But this is the one I've been loving. Uh, both of these items you get from Costco. And these are, they're like dehydrated strawberries. But they're uh, they are not like they're hard. Chewy. They're like um, little fruit chews, you know. But they're real strawberries. They look like real strawberries. Well, that's because they are. Here, let me show you one. See? They're just little little strawberries that have been dehydrated down to like little fruit chews. Love them. <laughs> I can't get enough of these damn things. <laughs> but they're um, really good for you. You know, an excellent snack. They're only like 10 bucks or something like that. And you get a, you know, a pretty good, it's like a pound of bag. Cool. They're fat free, gluten free. Um, you know, they're just really, really good. Really nummy snacks. And if you have a Costco, I mean, I guess you got to like chewy, you know, chewy fruit snacks and stuff like that. And I love, like, um, the Welch's fruit snacks, you know, and, like, my grandson's fruit by the foot. I have to, like, force you myself to not lunch on They are super <laughs> duper good, so you got to grab you some if you like strawberries and you like that kind of stuff. The next one, are you ready for this? This is decadent. I'm you know, the baked you. brownies <laughs> and that crispy stuff that gets on the outsides of the pan... I don't know about you guys, but growing up, it was a battle between me and my dad, really, <laughs> to get them crispy things off the sides. Well, there's a lady that's got, and this is a Costco, too, and it was only like six ninety nine for a pound of them, okay? And it's called Brownie Brittle, and it's just like, you see, I mean, it, it it's just like the um, pieces of what would be on the side of your pan after you cook brownies. It's got little chocolate chips in it. See that? I mean... <laughs> I love them. And, I mean, they're just so yummy. It's from a, a woman named Sheila G. Um, a little privately owned small company. It says a two, 120 calories per serving. And a serving is one ounce. Which, you know what, of these is a pretty good size. Because these are just like, there's nothing to them. They're just air. So you're basically getting the yummy sweetness and the flavor of the brownie goodness but without all the fat as long as you don't you know go overboard obviously and eat the whole bag but yeah 120 calories per serving uh, that's not to say the 14 grams of sugar 21 grams of carbohydrates which I don't really worry about my carbs because I don't um, I don't eat a lot of carbs but yeah wonderful you guys they're not any kind of fat free or low fat or anything like that it's just the the way that they're manufactured it's like um it's like chocolate covered it's like chocolate flavored air <laughs> with chocolate chips in it how great is that mm -mm -mm. i went into sally's the other day the only time i ever go to sally beauty is when i get my nail kits that i do my nails you know and not the ones where i have ball problems either i get the the simple ones and they had a big 50 50 percent off um table sitting there with a whole bunch of stuff on it and they had the Femme yeah, Couture I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to them from everything that I could find on it. Um, and I have never tried it. I've heard a couple beauty bloggers mention them in passing. But when I go to, to uh, do searches on it, I couldn't really find anything on the particular products that I have. So when I went down to Sally's and saw this big sale going on, what, they, what it is is Femme Couture is getting rid of their old... Um, design and so um, everything the makeup they itself. had at my sally which is a tiny little store like a hole in the wall was on a table that said 50 percent no 75 percent off and then the compacts were marked with an orange sticker that were already really low they were like 12.99 which don't well let me get you wrong 12.99 is not low for a quad of eyeshadows okay that for me is like that i think that's pretty damn high for a drugstore 
but these were also 75% off of that. So I got these for like $2.25 a piece. Now, what if I can tell, there are only four um, of these quads in the line of last year's line or the year before or whatever. The ones that they have out now, the compacts and everything look the same, but the inside is strips. There's strips of, of the shadows, kind of an ombre effect, and you dip into each Off strip all or whatever. Of the old design inside. And I got lucky. I've never even tried these brand. The first time I ever heard them was from um, Lacey over at Lacey Snow Doll. Eighty six ninety nine, I believe is it is. You know, when I first started her videos, I talked about the Femme Couture, and I always thought, hmm, I've never heard of that. Well, and I never really had any desire to, because to tell you the truth, when I go down there and look, it's not cheap makeup. And unless I've got a tester, you ain't can feel getting it, me to pay that until I can feel it and touch it and know what I'm buying. So, I got these for two twenty five. I figured, yeah, I'll go ahead. Actually, I just got, um, I got these two. For two dollars and twenty-five cents, and at the same time, I also got, and these are all from Femme Couture. I got these two cream eyeshadows, which I can't remember the last time I saw a cream eyeshadow in a tube, and then I got two lipsticks. Okay, now first of all, let me say the quality of the packaging was really what got me to buy these products. Okay, it looks just like your basic, you know, Elf type of black, you know, just basic. But this is really high quality packaging, you guys. These they're things have some weight to it. They're heavy duty, um, almost more solid like an acrylic than a plastic. They're such, they're so good, you know. They're such good quality. So that got me first. And with the lipsticks, now this looks like you know your general thing lipstick, down here in the bottom things, of it, and I believe it's got to be not a magnet, um, a weight. And I mean, listen to this. I'm just gonna tap it on my, on my vanity like this, just barely up from it. It sounds like I'm hitting it, but I'm not. I'm just tapping it on there. Really heavy, very nice, very nice quality. These are um, a matte, um, a matte metal of some kind. It's not. Uh, it doesn't feel like plastic, and if it is, well, it might be plastic, but it's very good quality, is all I'm saying, okay? I mean, I compare these. These are heavier. I actually like these containers better than I like my matte containers. They just feel more substantial. You Love know? them. They're beautiful. Not the, they, they feel kind of weird on your lips. They're almost like they're creamy, and they're moisturizing too, but they almost have a consistency on your lips like maybe you spread clay on your lips or something. They're, it's odd. They're kind of odd, but it only feels that way for about the first five minutes or so, and then it goes away. And I just am loving these lipsticks, and I find myself scouring eBay trying to find all of the old packaging because everything's new now and the kid down arm Sally says that uh told me that they reformulated I've seen that happen That's too never many good. times when I, companies reformulated try to be bigger and badder and they screw their own pooch you know so I'm hoping I'm gonna pick one of each up the next time I get down there to see if it's the same formula and if it is then I'm gonna start collecting the femme couture but if it's not I guess this is all I'm getting <laughs> okay and this color is uh Dramatic Dahlia and beautiful, beautiful Barbie pink. And then this one here is the one that I, I actually wear these together. Cottage pink. And that's Barbie ish and a little bit darker than Barbie ish. And then this one is and just kind of together. A nice they mold. work really, really well. They look so really pretty together. Just beautiful, beautiful. And I got these for, I think these were like 75 cents a piece. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, now let me show you. I'm saving the best for last here. Let me show you these cream shadows, okay? Can't remember the last time I got cream in a tube. I don't remember how they made them anymore. Really, really runny. All right, look at that. Bloop. Just super runny. And I thought, what the heck? What am I going to do with these? But they were 30 cents a piece, so why not, right? So, I mean, you can see the beautiful color, I hope. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Now, let me put the other one next to it. Okay, and then I'm just going to leave those there for just one second. <laughs> you see, this one's a deeper magenta color, and this one's a baby doll pinkish. And I'm going to leave those there for I'm just one minute. These. I've got uh, in the compacts, okay? The compact, the quads have uh, four you know, four colors, and then this middle section here, let me grab a, a white cross, you see, 
that's actually an eyeshadow. And I went on the site and, and to look, you know, and this is meant to be for the small detailed stuff, which, you know, this is kind of goofy if you ask me, but excellent pigmentation on that. I don't know if you can see that white right there. But, I mean, it's meant to put, like, right under the eyebrows and then in the corners of the eyes. Beautiful, beautiful. But let me show you this eyeshadow, you guys. Oh, wait a minute. That's stuff I put on the back of my hand. E. <laughs> Look at that stuff. Holy crap. How long was that, you guys? A minute? Killer, killer stuff. <laughs> now I want all of these two. That is not going anywhere, and I have wore this around the yard. I packed it on my eye real big, you know, and I walked around looking like a freak. But I wanted to see how it creased in my hoods, and, and it didn't crease. It didn't do anything. <laughs> it's beautiful, and it doesn't take like a bunch of scrubbing to get off. It just wipes right off. It's no kind of waterproof, but it does not move. Once you put it there, it is there, and it dries down to a smooth... Uh, Finish. It's not tacky or anything like a, you know, like a cream shadow normally is. Beautiful. Now I'm looking for those too. Anyways, okay. Mm, this one's called Amber Rush. These are probably some of the smoothest, butteriest, butteriest ever touched. Look at that color. One small swatch. These are so beautiful. You guys, they are creamy. Well, they're not they're not creamy like moist, you know. They're just, they are so smooth and buttery. I just feel like I could sit here and stroke my palate. <laughs> I'm totally serious. This one is called Amber Rush, and I love these colors. Um, my husband loves this palette on me. Loves it. Okay, and then this other one here is called Berry Pinks. And these are the two that I got down at Sally. These are the only two that they had. And when I felt these, I rushed right home and went on eBay. <laughs> okay, now let me grab these ones for you and show you. They're so beautiful, and I encourage anybody to grab these. If you have a Sally in your town and you see these on Blowout, get them because they are excellent. Okay, and that one's Berry Pinks. And then this is the one that I found on eBay. And there's one other one called Aruba Sunset. And I'm watching a couple listings for it. And God, it's climbing up there. The one I'm looking at is like $24 already. But thank God it's only one palette. <laughs> okay, and this one is called Love and Lilac. And it's, you know, purples with the bronzy, coppery color in it. And let me put those on my hand for you. You're so pretty. Look at those. And all I can really say is I'm glad there's only four compacts. <laughs> no, really. So glad. Now, I wanted to show something to you real quick. I want to show you what these swatch with a brush. Because, you know, usually you do swatches with your fingers. And it's easy to get a good dose, you know, on there. So let me show you how these swatch let's with a brush, okay? Um, let's take this iridescent purple here, okay? And as you can see, it's not kicking up a bunch of crap. You see that? It's not getting a bunch of dust. Okay. Look at that. I am so... So excited! This, this brand, look at that with the little flat shade or shadow brush. Beautiful. I know it's ridiculous to be all excited like this over a product, but you know that's why I'm in the business. I guess. Now I found again on eBay, Iman, and she is David Bowie's wife. Okay, they've been married forever. She's got a makeup line out, and I tried. I grabbed a few of her blushes the other day. This packaging, it's tortoise shell. I don't know if you guys have ever watched the makeup artist here on YouTube called the Dustin. His name's Dustin Hunter. He loves the tortoise shell, but I hate it. I think it's horrible. Look. I Oddly really enough, do. these two products do not swatch How gorgeous well. are those. Now, these are blushes, but I didn't get them for blushes. I got them for eye color. They don't swatch well, so I'm going to use a brush. Okay. Look at that beautiful brick color. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is the lighter shade. In the pots, this looks like the lighter shade, but it's darker. <laughs> I don't know. 
But both of these only cost me eight bucks for both of them. So I've been using the crap out of these two in really happy days, but I was so happy with them, I had to tell you. <laughs> Iman, um, yeah. her stuff is all over eBay for really, really cheap and beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, yeah, wanted to show you that. Okay, and lastly, for my makeup, I told you all the other day about the Ulta shadows that I ordered. And I got them in, and I have been playing with them. And these are outstanding. The next time, I think that sale is over now, but the next time I got, this is two different stacks I'm showing you here. <laughs> the next time Ulta has their shadows on sale for $3 a piece, you guys have got to hit this up because these are gorgeous. I'm going to grab just a couple of them real quick and show you. Okay, I'm going to grab one of the ones that you guys would probably... Probably one of the more used ones for like a crease shadow. And these are all matte. Every one of them is matte. Okay, this one's called Sable. And these are, again, beautiful, creamy, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Can you see it there? Yeah, right there. The absolute perfect blending color. I mean perfect. Okay, this one is called Wide Awake, and I'm telling you, you pop a little bit of this in your corner right here, and that is exactly yeah, what you look. There it is. Look at that. Bam. Totally matte. No shimmer, no nothing. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors, and I'm so happy that I got these. I'm going to use this one called Grace. This is like a, it's the most beautiful taupe that I have ever seen. Normally, taupes, I'm not real big on taupes, but this has got a slight like the the faintest purple hue to it isn't that beautiful you guys oh my gosh i had somebody say yeah, they just wanted me to swatch the yellow okay and i've got a bunch of different colors here and i'm going to do a whole video with swatches just to show you swatches is all because what more can you say about them you know besides they're good so let me show you the yellow oh, 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 oh. look at that yellow Owza. I, you know, we all have our own drug in the cosmetic world. I've got, I think, um, I think Lynette's dope is blushes. Uh, I got a girlfriend down in Wyoming that loves nothing more than foundations. She has more foundations than any person should ever have. Mine are <laughs> eyeshadows, if you could not tell. I love my eyeshadows. Look at this beautiful gray. This one's called Lock Look and that. Key. How gorgeous is that? Oh, God, I'm just loving these. When I got them, I sat here at my desk, and I'm like, oh, I'm just swatching them over and over, and I must have covered my arms. This one's called Wisteria Lane. Well, this is one of the favorite ones that of out of all of them that I like. Look at that beautiful purple. Hell, those look good together this right one here. This is called Ivy League. I've got 16 shadows here with almost 2 grams of shadow per pot. Okay, 16 of these. And I paid $46 for all of them. So where are you going to get an all matte palette? And you know that matte palettes are always priced higher than just your, you know, your average palette with a mix and match of different finishes. You find a palette that's all matte and it's going to be more expensive because it's sought after, you know, and especially if they're good quality mats from a um, higher end you, company. If you found a palette, this is like building your own Mac, you know, your own private palette out of all mats from Mac or something, because these are every bit as beautiful, so you guys gotta get you these, and I hate to, I hate to pump up Ulta too, because our Ulta ear, our Ulta here in town sucks balls, but these are beautiful. And okay, what more can I now say? I do have a dud, and it's a couple hair pieces. Okay, don't get them from the dollar store. <laughs> okay, do not get your hair clips from the dollar store. I don't have much hair. I know it looks, it doesn't look like I'm barren up there, but I am. These clips freaking suck. I don't know. I probably go through one every three or four days, like they're disposable or something. I, the third, fourth, or fifth time I open it, and then bust. Every single dang time. Yeah. Don't get your hair clips at the dollar I love store. you all so much. If you have not subscribed already, please do so, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.